Hello everyone, you are welcome to this lesson. In this video, you are going to solve this question I have here. The question says, a man pulls with a force of 300 newtons on a rope attached to a building as shown in the figure. What are the horizontal and vertical components of the force exerted by the rope at point A? So we have the figure here and then you have to find the horizontal and then vertical components of the force that will be in the rope okay so let's look at how you are going to do this so let me first of all draw the free body diagram for this system here okay all right so this is the x axis right and then this is the the y axis okay y and then x okay you know this is negative x but let's just put x there okay so let me draw the force vector for the tension force okay so let this represent the the 300 newtons force okay all right so now let's draw the components of this force so let's take this to be the x component and then let's take this to be the y component okay let's name the X component as TX and then the Y component as TY. So you have this angle to be angle alpha. Okay, so our main goal here is to find the value of TX and then TY. So let's look at how you are going to do that. So to find TX, we can take cosine of the angle alpha. So you are going to have cos alpha. Okay, and then that will be called the adjacent side, which is TX over the hypotenuse, which is the 300 newtons okay so at the end you're going to have tx to be equal to 300 multiplying cosine of what alpha okay and then for ty you're going to have sine alpha which will be equal to the opposite side which is ty okay over the hypotenuse which is the 300 newtons so you're going to have ty to be equal to 300 okay sine of what alpha okay but you see that ty will be pointing in the negative y as its direction okay so for that reason you will have to what negate the value okay so this is what we have now so you see that if you find a value of course alpha we can find the value for tx and then if you know the value of sine alpha you can also find the value for ty okay guys so let's look at how you are going to find a value of Cos alpha and then sine alpha okay let me free up this space okay so before you can find the value of cos alpha and then sine alpha there are two ways to do this okay you can just choose to find the value for this angle alpha here and then substitute it here and then here or you can find the magnitude of this line here which is line a b okay and also use that to solve for tx and then ty okay we are going to use both methods okay but let's start with this one here first which is which will require us to find the, the magnitude of what line a b okay so let's look at that so we're going to have a b squared okay to be equal to 8 squared plus 6 squared okay so at the end you're going to have a b squared to be equal to 100 okay that's what you are going to have and then a b will equal to the square root of 100 and then that will give us a value of what 10 so that means that a b is what 10 okay so we have this to be 10 meters okay let's not forget the unit okay so now that we have this we can go ahead and then find the value of course alpha and then sign alpha okay let's look at that so okay let me start with Cos first okay so you're going to have cos alpha okay to be equal to the adjacent side which is the 8 over the hypotenuse which is now 10 okay and then you're going to have sine alpha to be equal to the opposite side which is 6 over the hypotenuse which is what 10 so you can do the substitution here okay so you're going to have tx to be equal to 300 multiplying cosine of alpha but that is now 8 on 10 
and then ty will be equal to minus 300 multiplying the sine of alpha which is now 6 on 10 okay so let's simplify this and see what you are going to get for tx and then cy okay let me push this up here okay and then let me bring this guy to here okay all right so now let's punch those values on the calculator and then see what you are going to get so we have 300 multiplying 8 on 10 okay so that gave me 240 newtons for tx okay so let's do same for ty we have minus 300 multiplying 6 on 10 that also gave me a value of what minus 180 newtons okay so that's a y component of the 300 newtons force the rope is exerting at what point a okay if you don't use this method also what you can do is that you can just find the value of what the angle alpha okay so let's look at how you're going to do that so in that case you now have to find the magnitude of what the line a b okay you're just going to use these two sides okay so to do that you're going to have tan alpha we call to the opposite side which is six over the adjacent side which is what eight okay all right so if you simplify this you're going to have alpha to be called to the tan inverse of three over four okay okay so let's find what you are going to get for that let's see what you're going to get for that so the tan inverse of three on four will give us a value of 36.87 degrees okay so that's the value of what alpha okay and then remember that we said the x component will be equal to 300 cosine of what alpha and then the y component okay was equal to minus 300 sine of what alpha right so you can just substitute the value of alpha there so we're going to have tx to be equal to 300 multiplying cosine of 36.87 degrees and then for ty also that's going to be minus 300 multiplying sine of what 36.87 degrees okay that's what you are going to have so let's punch those values on the calculator and then see what you are going to get so we have 300 multiplying cosine of 36.87 that gave me a value of 240 for the x component okay so let's look at the y component so we have minus 300 multiplying sine of 36.87 that also gave me a value of minus 180 newtons okay so this is another way to find the component okay so depending on the one that you feel that will be easy for you you just have to go by that method thank you very much for watching this video please kindly like the video and if this is your first time watching my videos please subscribe to the channel so that you can get updates anytime i post new videos thank you